Hey, what's going on YouTube? Adam C. here. What you are looking at is 30 to 40 uh, baby Mylochromus spilicious fish. They're very tiny, probably a quarter of an inch, if even that. They're in the egg tumbler here, which is essentially their incubator. It's taking them from becoming simply just eggs to free-swimming fish uh, that can handle being in an aquarium. And at this point, it's time that we move them from their little incubator here to their own tank, to a new home. So uh, for those who are wondering what these fish will look like when they grow up, here is a short video of the parents. The dad, the male, is the bright blue and purplish one and the females always stay silver and they get six to eight inches in length. A really cool fish, very popular in the aquarium hobby for their colors. So these guys, again, been in here for a couple weeks now. Uh, it protects them from getting eaten, getting eaten by the larger fish and also keeps them moving around which is a requirement for them to survive until they're able to swim on their own. So again, let's get them to their new home. Here we are at their new home. This is a 10 gallon tank. There's already six or seven other little ones in here of the same species. Uh, they're just leftovers from a previous group. But here's little guys here, uh, waiting to go into their new home. They'll be in here for a couple months until they are big enough to go in a larger tank. You may ask, why don't they go in the larger tank you know, immediately? And the reason for that is they don't move around a whole lot when they're this small. So if you keep them, keep them in a smaller area, it remains easier for them to find food. If you put them in a giant tank right out of the gate, uh, they really struggle to find food. So if you're expecting them to come in here and swim around all nice and gracefully, that's not going to happen. Uh, side note, apologize for all the shaking here, I'm trying to keep them in focus. But they're not going to swim around all nice. They're going to go to the bottom. They're going to be confused what's going on. So they're just going to sit there for a bit. Uh, which is normal. So we'll come back in a day or so after they're done laying on the bottom and, and adapting to the, new, to the new tank and we'll see how they're doing then. So let's get these guys released. They're just going to check it out for a while, hang out, relax. They're all kinds of stressed out now, so it's pretty common to see them hover along the bottom like you see here now. You can see just how small these guys are. I mean, here's my thumb, index finger there. Sorry, my thumb has paint all over it. <laughs> just realized that when I was going to use my thumb for a comparison. But you can see just how small they really are. So we'll let them get adapted uh, overnight tonight. Probably wait 24 hours and I'll come back and do a, an update on his, on all these guys. Uh, so stay tuned. And here comes the update. It has been 24 hours. They are a little more active now, kind of getting uh, acclimated to their surroundings. I'm sure it seems like uh, miles and miles of space they have now compared to the egg tumbler incubator they were in, but they've never actually eaten food yet. Uh, most of you guys know that uh, these types of fish, they simply absorb the egg while they're in, uh, in the egg tumbler for food. They don't actually swim around and eat food yet. So this is the first day we're gonna offer them actual food that they eat through their mouths. <laughs> so it's just some powdery stuff you can see there, high protein, so they can grow. So let's throw that in there, see if they have any interest at all. They may not instantly because they're not going to know what it is. I think some of them are eating it. <laughs> They're probably very, very confused.
Like he got some. They will all figure it out very, very shortly. They'll start growing pretty quickly. Like I said, they're, they're very tiny now, but they will grow quickly. So maybe in a month or so I'll do an update and you guys can see how they have grown. I hope everyone enjoyed and I uh, hope you stick around and follow these guys growing up a little bit. See you next time.